In this video, I'll be showing the differences between RVX FPS Unlocker and Blockstrap. I'll be explaining how they work and how each of the two function. Now I have something to tell you for this video. Please watch through the entire video. Uh, many of you skip through my last video, the parts where I explain how Blockstrap works, how their flags work. And then many of you then go ask a question in the comments asking about something that I had already explained in the video about their flags, which then you can fix by yourself. There's just so many comments on it and I'm just, it's just getting very annoying now. But I promise you that I'll be explaining everything in this video as well and just showcasing overall which one I think is better and which one you should be using. So let us begin. So I'll be starting off with Arbix FPS Unlocker. What this does is this just unlocks your FPS on Roblox and it does it through two means. If it can't do it by just complete, completely unlocking it by itself, which I'm not sure how it does it, but it does it nonetheless. And there's in the new update, it can also just use the fast flag to unlock it. In these tests here, I'll be first, I'll be checking, I'll be showing you guys that this, it doesn't affect your graphics at all. It just unlocks your FPS. And as you can see, that when I switch through my graphics levels, you get all the graphics. So at graphics 10, you get all the new, like new future lighting style or whatever it's called, the system. You can see here, you can have refracting on glass and stuff like that, or like just, it it's it's working completely fine. It's just normal Roblox, but it, the FPS is capped. It's, I mean, it's uncapped. And there's just not much else to say about it. All this does, is it uncaps the FPS. Now, sometimes people have run into issues with Arbix FPS not working because of a Roblox, or it can also try to update itself, but sometimes that doesn't also work, so it's a bit finicky, like, but once you have it going, it'll run in the background, It'll you can also set it up to, it, it can automatically launch by itself every time you open your computer, and that's literally about it. The difference between this and our, and Blockstrap is this can also uncap Studio, which is actually very interesting. How I don't know how they do that, but it can also uncap Studio FPS. So this is the only one up it has on Blockstrap that Blockstrap doesn't actually do, where it can uncap the Studio FPS. So if you need that, you can use it. It's that's like a pretty good way to let's say uncap your studio fps if let's say you want to you want you want to make a game that is like performance based or something so yeah and there's not much else to it here i'll show be i'll be showing you the menu of it so this is what it looks like it's basically an executable where you can once you download you can run it and then it'll show up in your tray and then from here you can just you know set your fps you can unlock for studio and yeah, you, there's also where you can set the way it unlocks it and it's apparently called hybrid. I don't know what that is, but it just works. And here you can also set like other things where like you want if you want it to quick start, which basically means just it'll just start by itself every time you open your computer. And it is a nice little tool if you just don't want to, you know, you don't want any complex things to happen on your Roblox. So just unlocks your FPS. Now we move on to Blockstrap. Obviously in Blockstrap you can also just have FPS unlocked completely and not run with fast flags. But what's the point of that? So in this one, this these are the fast flags that I've used. This is a higher quality version of my fast flag that I've shown off in my previous video. All the fast flags will be in the description below so you don't have to look for it or I've typed this all out on by hand. And this is like on fixed graphics 5 basically it forces the game to run at graphics 5 but you can set your in-game graphics to anything you want it will still force it to be 5 but the in-game graphics will be set to any amount so you can I set it to 10 so you can get max render distance and for all of these tests it, on Roblox it'll be 10 graphics but the actual quality that is running on will be different on Blockstrap but then on the Arbix FPS Unlocker one 
it'll be depending on what the graphics is so that means we use 10 graphics so that means we we will get 10 graphics of quality and 10 graphics worth of frames and this is block strap with the medium you can say quality setting where the game doesn't literally look that bad and it's playable then you get a lot more, a lot more fps in it and already from here i'm getting like 140 to 120 fps just from the bat from what i've tested after playing after a while i never dropped less than 100 fps when i had blockstrap running with this the graphics they looks almost identical sure there may be less shadows obviously sure the lighting may be a bit different than 10 graphics but not many people can run 10 graphics and there's no point in running 10 graphics because to be honest from 7 to 10 it all looks the same it just adds like just more lag to the game basically because the render distance of like the shadows get increased so like to whole map which you don't need it it doesn't make any like difference from graphic 7 so there's no point in it honestly and from my testing from running from five graphics you get all the good lighting you get a decent distance of good lighting as well as you get good performance with it so from my testing five graphics is pretty usable it won't be really usable for like let's say older devices who wish to run on higher graphics because obviously it's gonna hurt the heck out of it but for people who do want a bit more graphics but at the same time want a bit more fps than normal roblox they can use this they'll get max render distance they'll get decreased graphics but not super decreased where it looks like plastic to them and they'll also get increased fps for running five graphics so it's honestly just a win in every direction you look at it and it's also just very easy to add it so you gotta open your block strap menu if you don't have it and like the bottom where i have a shortcut to it you just search it on your taskbar or your search menu then once you're here you can then go to fast flags and once you're here you can see obviously you can set your fps here this is set just by fast flag and another thing is you want to make sure that you have alternate graphics quality selector off and this graphics thing on so that it just works and here is where you can set your fast flags you can just import json i have it in a notepad here i copy it and then i just paste it in and it'll automatically swap out the old ones with the new one it'll ask you that hey it's going to change all of this you just press yes and boom it's updated all of them and then once you just press save blockstrap will then run or roblox will run these fast flags on your next launch and that's literally it for it and then last but not least let's run the low settings so this is now a fixed graphics of two and already from this in the lobby i'm getting more than 140 fps sometimes i'm almost reaching 200 fps because of it and this is these settings are on my previous video i'll have the settings in the description below but you guys already saw how to put it when like just a few seconds ago and another thing is that just follow my other video for how to install block stuff and how to just get it working i have everything there and these settings are made for my device these settings are made so like i can get the most fps out of all the testing i've done for like the past week or two and like just like a long time ago basically by now uh these are the settings that make my laptop run as fast as it can on roblox so that, so that i can get the most fps out of it graphics 2 for me runs better than graphics 1 i don't know why but i get more graph i got i get more fps in graphics 2 than i do with graphics one graphics one surprisingly decreases my fps which doesn't make any sense because i'm rendering less things and i'm rendering them even like you know like lower quality but just somehow some way it does affect it so i don't know how roblox does it but they just do that but yeah this is graphics two and to be frankly honest with you there's like no difference the main difference that I see between higher and lower tier graphics 
is the lighting here you can see the light is so bright and it updates really slowly that's like the only difference the quality of items yeah maybe they're like the textures are a bit more higher quality they're a bit more 3d yeah the glass looks much better in higher graphics because like it actually has like refractive capabilities but other than that the game just looks exactly the same other than shadows other than like the quality and stuff of the light and the quality of the shadows if you ignore all of those which for me i don't care about them because i've grown up with like 2015 roblox i'm used to like seeing stuff which are like really low quality i'm very basically just used to it i'm used to playing two graphics on my old laptop right now i'm on a gaming laptop and i can run 10 graphics fine but i just don't want i just don't like having low fps so i like having a high fps so i run it like this and here you can see i'm getting more than 160 fps right now sometimes it does go lower but that's not just most of the time i'm getting 140 fps plus which is more than what my screen can handle my screen is 144 hertz so it's really up to what you want for me i want fps i want my screen to be buttery smooth and i want the gameplay to be buttery smooth i want to be very reactive to it i want to be i want it to be very responsive so i run fps i run i like running fps more than i like quality some games maybe i do run quality like minecraft minecraft i love the look of minecraft i love i love it when it has shaders but minecraft is completely different the way minecraft works is completely different to how roblox works and minecraft just runs way better than roblox and that's just a fact because it's a completely different game the same goes for other games dude space engineers a game that i play i get 140 fps on there all the time that game has literally like such good shadows it has such good lighting but i get 140 fps on there that's just because it's a really well optimized games i haven't done any single modding to it if, if fresh out of the box you can get 140 fps on a game that is 10 years old and it still looks good it looks better than roblox even even though it's more than 10 years old now so it just goes to show how unoptimized roblox is really and just you just gotta deal with it <laughs> there's not there's not much you can do and yeah this is well two graphics this is with lower settings these are the low settings i have it in the description below and i have it in my previous video this is just i just been using the same settings as my previous video and if you guys want to know what all the fast flags do go watch my previous video i'm not explaining them here in this video because i've already explained them in my previous video but now let's go into the more or the, like the best comparison now we're gonna show all three of these in the same time and let's truly see what's the like what do you see what's the difference do you actually see between the three and this is the difference between the three i tried to do it at the exact same time as i started going in dusty trip and as you can see there's a big difference so from the start from the left you can see Arbix fps unlocker we're sticking to around 80 fps most of the time sometimes we get some lows which are we go all down to 60 sometimes we reach 100 not even 100 we reach like 90 something but most of the time we are on 80. on the middle we can see that while we're driving we're reaching around 140 to 100 so we're in the range of the hundreds and 140s but we are not going lower than 100. On the FX Unlocker, on the FX Unlocker, we couldn't break 100. On the medium settings for Block Strap, we cannot even go below 100. And then on the right, well, that's where we get the biggest range. We get from 100 to 200 frames, but most of the time, we get 140 frames. Sometimes there are some lows, but it's around like 80% of the time, I'm getting 140 FPS. And that's the cool part about it. Playing at two graphics just gives you performance. Playing at five graphics gives you a bit of, you know, a bit of look, but at the same time, you don't get as much, but at the same time, you get a bit of performance from it as well. And of course, with using just normal Roblox engine for max graphics, you're gonna get the lowest FPS, obviously. All of these tests are done 
with the same settings on Roblox, everything here has 10 graphics. So everything you see here on the Roblox client side, it's at 10 graphics. But in setting wise, the actual quality, the left one is 10 graphics, the middle one is 5 graphics, and the right one is 2 graphics. And just from here, you can see that it almost looks the same. All three of them almost look the exact same. Left one has shadows. The middle one doesn't really have shadows, but it has some like reflection and stuff like that. Better reflections. And the right one has none of those, but they all look the same. So it's up to you what you want to use. Honestly, it's just you pick what you want to do. It's, it's your choice if you want performance or quality. It doesn't matter. But yeah, this shows the capabilities of Blockstrap and I hope Roblox can learn from this that maybe you should add a difference between just graphics. Maybe there should be a difference of let's say having graphics quality or having render quality or render distance. I think that should be a thing that Roblox should add. But yeah that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video this didn't really take much time to make i just i wanted to make this video for a while now since the last video just exploded and i'm so grateful for that i'm like a thank you to everyone who has watched the video and hello to everyone who's new here to my channel i'll be posting more of these videos later when let's say like block block strap updates or something i'll be working on this even more so like i'm always online but maybe next month i'm not so because i have exams so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye